Setting up your Sadotech doorbell can be as simple as one, two, three. Make sure your receivers are plugged in and are in a safe area. Now if you look here, the receiver has two buttons. One is a music control button and the other is the volume control button. Put this back in now. Next up, make sure your transmitter or any of these products don't have these tabs. Please remove it. So let's pop this open, pull it out, and pop it back into place. Now we're ready to go. First, let's adjust our volume level by pressing the volume control button and choose our desired volume. Let's do this one. Let's do the same for the other receiver. I think this is good. First, let's pair our products and also change the chime. By pressing the music control button, we can change the music. So I picked this chime to this transmitter over here. So let's go into learning mode by pressing the, these two buttons at the same time. When you hear that, you press the button on the transmitter. Now you've paired this transmitter to this receiver. Let's do the same for this receiver here. By pressing the, by going back into learning mode, pressing, now you see that both receivers work with this transmitter. If we follow these same steps for these three products, we should be able to do the same thing. Let's pick another music chime for this transmitter over here. I like this one. So go into learning mode. Now this has been paired to this receiver. Let's do the same for this. Go into learning mode. Press the button. This has now been paired. Next up, let's pair the LD sensor. By going into learning mode or changing the chime, you can set this up as well. By pulling apart the LD, it's now paired. So let's put this back in together and do the same for this. Go into learning mode, pull the LD apart, and now the sensor is paired with these two receivers. Finally, the LM sensor. Let's pick a chime. Go into learning mode, and then flip, then switch. This has now been set up. Let's turn it back off, and now pair it with this receiver. As you can see, this is turned off. And now flip the switch. Now look. It's now paired and detects my hand. Let's turn it off. And now learn how to reset or unpair these receivers with all four products. By holding on and pressing and holding the music control button for five seconds, you'll be able to do that. Do the same for this. When you hear that noise, your products have been unpaired. As you can see, the buttons no longer work. Now pull this apart. No longer works. And finally, I'm going to turn this back on. No longer works. So that's how you configure your Starpoint products.